Alright, today is November 9th, 2012, and the other day I tested a real piece of cod, Alaskan wild cod. And when I was going through the store, I was curious to see if there was anything other things I could find to test. And unknowingly, my eyes came across this bottle of cod liver oil. So I was very curious to see what that would test. And also because it says it's purified to eliminate mercury, PCBs, and dioxins. I wonder if it's also purified to um, pull out the radiation from Fukushima. So let's see, because obviously they're making this from the cod liver. And if my wild cod tested positive for above background radiation, I do believe this will also. Today is November 9th. 2012. This is the first background on the cod liver oil. 2.99. Three count high. 0.50. Average data point. And then now, if you notice, there's a red line showing up now. That's the average data point of of all 10 minutes. Test 2 background cod liver oil. 268. 3 count high. 0.45 is the average data point. And that's the red line. Test 3 background on the Cod liver oil, 280, max 0.4, average 0.47, that's the standard deviation, which I'm trying to figure out now. Alright, this is test one on the cod liver oil, and it's a 363, four count, 0.61. Alright, this is test two on the cod liver oil, and it's a 381, four count. Average data point is 0.64, and I think something fishy is going on over here. Test 3 on the cod liver oil, and I'm getting a 365. 5 count high, 0.61 was the average data point. Since the cod liver oil gel caps are testing above background radiation, and I believe that there's actually going to be higher readings if I just test the gel itself, because I think these little gel capsules are holding in some of that radiation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these open, drain them, and put them into a small container so they're more concentrated. All right, gel capsules are emptied. Let's get a fresh plate and see what the cod liver oil actually tests just by itself. There's the cod liver oil and I'm gonna guess about 
four tablespoons. First test, cod liver oil alone, and it's a 371, six count high, 0.62. And you could see the spike right there. All right, here's test two for the cod liver oil, just the oil alone. And it's a 374, four count high, 0 0.62 is the average data point. Alright, here's test three on the cod liver oil, just the oil itself outside. And I'm getting a 390. But check this out. First time this has ever happened, I got a 48 for a max data point. So that averages out to 0.65. But look at the standard deviation that went up to, to 2. And there it is right there. That's a 48 count max data point. It really picked something up. It found something. I've never seen that before. So maybe somehow the oil got mixed around and it came up closer to detect it, but that's no fluke. My conclusion on the cod liver oil soft gels is even though it contains a natural source of omega-3, I am convinced it also contains radiation, possibly cesium, especially with the 48 count spike. Something's fishy about this cod liver oil. Background. Cod liver oil. Background. Cod liver oil. Background. Cod liver oil. Background. Cod liver oil.